What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a door schedule and I'm going to show you how to create a door hardware key schedule. So we're going to create a door schedule and add values to it. And then we're also going to create a door hardware key schedule and assign hardware to the doors. And then we're going to add door hardware key to the door schedule. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we are going to do is let's create a door schedule. So to do that, I'm going to open my, oh, so from my project browser. So you can see here your door schedules quantities or schedule quantities all. And you can also find that in the view tab. And then here you can see your schedule. So it's the same. So you can either go to the view tab and then select your schedule quantities, or you can just right click schedule quantities from the project browser. Okay, so you just right click that and then select new schedule quantities. So I'm going to select this because I want to create a door schedule. So next, since we're going to create a door, so I'm going to look for doors, this one, and then for the name, door schedule, you can change that if you want. So make sure this is a schedule building components in the pace of uh, new construction. And then after that, just select OK. All right, so let's select that. And then here on our fields tab from the available fields. So here you need to select what are the fields that you would like to appear on the schedule. So for this one, I'm going to select here mark. And I also want uh, family and type. What else? I also want width, uh, height. What else? I also want to show the cost and the level. There you go. Just double click and then it will be placed here. So if ever uh, you do not want the field that you have selected, so you can just double click again here. So let's, very, let's say, for example, the width, just double click that and then it will be returned back to the available fields. Just double click. You can actually use this arrow here to put one and you can also use this one to remove from the scheduled fields. But uh, double clicking is much uh, easier. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is from the sort. So I'm going to sort this one. So I'm going to sort it by mark. Just select that. And then let's see our schedule. So let's select here. Okay. And there you go. So there's now our door schedule sorted by uh, mark. Okay. So just remember, if you select here, like for example, this door here, you'll be able to select that as well in the model. Okay, so that's why if you select that, so there's an option here says highlight in model. So you will be able to select that particular uh, door from the model. So if I select your highlight in model, just click that and then it will now go to that view. So you can show that in different views by selecting show or if this is enough for you, just close that. Okay. Pretty simple. So that means if you delete this schedule or this door, it will going to be removed as well on your door schedule and vice versa. If you select this and then delete that or this one, the row, it will also be removed from your model. Okay, so that's how powerful the schedule. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is after... Uh, creating my door schedule. I'm going to show you how to create a door hardware key schedule. Okay, so let's create another schedule. So let me right click again and then select new schedule quantities. And then let's look for doors. Double. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to cancel this one. So let me just quickly show you uh, doors. Okay, and then for the name here, this is the one I forgot to change. So I'm going to change this to door hardware schedule. Oops, it's schedule. Okay, and then this time instead of schedule building components, we are going to select schedule keys. Okay, and then for the key name, I'm going to change that to door hardware. 
So we're going to create a door hardware key schedule. So that's the name. Make sure it's schedule keys and then for the key name, door hardware. Okay. So let us now select here. Okay. Right. So as you can see, these are the available fields for your uh, door schedule. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, the available fields doesn't have the field that you would like to be added on your schedule. So basically, you can customize it. Okay, so let's customize the parameter because these are the only parameters. And then let's say, for example, you want to add a parameter. So we can customize it by selecting new parameter. So let's select this. Okay, and then for the name here, so I'm going to type here uh, hardware, hardware type. Okay. And then for the discipline, I'll just set that to common. But this one, I would like to text. I would like to type it. Okay. And then I'm going to put this under uh, other parameter. So let's select this one, other. Okay. So hardware type, that's the name, text parameter. So we can type. Okay. And let's select here. Okay. That's it. So you just added or just created another uh, new parameter. So let's add another parameter. So let's select this one. Okay. And I'm going to create another one. Uh, lock set text again under other parameter. That one. So lock set common text other. Okay. And I want to add another one which is hinges. Okay, and same text and then group it under other, the same. Okay, and then let me create another parameter and then I'm going to type the name, which is, uh, let's say, closer. This time, the type of parameter instead of text, I'm just going to select here yes, no. Yes, no parameter and then put it on the other parameter. Okay, and then I'll just select here. Okay, and what else? I'm going to add more parameters here because the parameters are not enough. So I'm going to create parameter frame silencer. And then this one is the same uh, text. Uh, no, I just select your yes, no. Yes, no for this one. So frame silencer, common, yes, no parameter, other group. Okay, so that's for our frame silencer. I'll just create another one. Uh, this one is for the kick plate. Okay, and then this one is yes, no, again, other group. Okay, there you go. So it's now here. So I have the key name, hardware type, lock set, hinges, closer, frame silencer, and then kick plate. Okay, and then I'll just select here, okay. So let's select, okay. So this is now how it looks like. Our door hardware is scheduled. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add new row in this schedule because as you can see, there's no row here. So I'm going to add row. So insert data row so let's click this there you go and then for the hardware type i'm gonna enter here our hardware type is text parameter so i can type here so i'm gonna type there passage and then for the lock set i'm just gonna key in another text here so a series and then for the hinges i'm gonna type here type of hinges so bb one and a half pr dash bb so this is just a type of a hinge knuckle okay now for this one for this type of hardware i do not want to add a closer here so i'm going to clear these and i don't want a uh, kick plate gonna uncheck that but I want a frame silencer for this uh, passage hardware type okay 
So let's add uh, more values for this one. So, or I mean rows. So I'm going to insert data row again. So let's select that. Okay, now this one is for the locking uh, office. Oops, office. And then for the lock set, so I'm just going to type here NCF8 lock set. And then for the hinges, I'm just going to use the same type as the last one. This one. And then I do not want to have a closer and kick plate here, but I want a frame silencer. All right. Okay, then let us add some more. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four. So four more. So this one is for egress. So basically, you just type in here the different types of the hardware that you would like to include to this hardware or door hardware schedule. So that's for the entry. This one is for the restroom. And this one is for the storage. Okay, and then this one is another type of block set. So series 22 extension. Devi. So same with the entry. So I want that type. So you can click that drop down. For the restroom, I want a push pull type. Lock set. Enter. And then for this uh, storage, I want another type of ANSI F86 type. right and then for the third for the hinges i want the same type then this one i want uh, bb3 pr dash uh, bb5 knuckle okay and then this one is the same as the rest one and one half as well, one and one half. Let us adjust this one so we can read it properly. Okay, and this one I want to have a closer, closer, closer. Then this one I want a frame silencer. This one no need. And this one I want a kick plate for the egress, but none for the entry, restroom, and storage. There you go. Now after we create our uh, door hardware schedule, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to assign the hardware to the doors. Okay, so I'm going to open up the ground floor because we would like to assign this uh, uh, hardware types to the door that we have. So I'm going to open up the ground floor, which is uh, this one. This is our ground floor. Okay, and then this area... This area here, I'm going to select, um, how about, there is no door here. Um, okay, so let me place a door here because there is no door. So what is this? This one is a towel rail. So let me just place a door here. So using this one, so right uh, select, right click. I'm going to create the same type of door as this one. So I'm going to select create similar and maybe I'm going to put one here. There you go. Okay, and let me change this to 10. Do I have 10 already? Okay, so I already have a 10, that one. Now let's say, for example, for this door, I'm going to select that and also my door. Oh, there is no door here as well. So let's create a door. So let's select this, right click, create similar. So let's press space bar to flip and then place it here. I want this to be my nine one. Wonder where is my nine there? Okay, there you go. So for this door here, so this 10 and then nine, I'm going to select that. And then from the properties, we are going to change this. So if you slide it 
you can see here the other parameter that we have created right and then you will now be able to see there our uh, hardware door types okay so for the door hardware okay so I'm gonna change this okay so for the hardware type so this will gonna be for the restroom so if I select restroom and then I select here also lock set so what will gonna be the lock set for this one okay so that is a push pull so let's select uh, push pull here select so this is a push pull okay and then for the hinges let's say I'll just use uh, this one and then you can just specify here if you want to have this uh, things here or you can go to the type properties here and then you can just change the properties here as well you can add more details on the uh, type properties so any changes that you made here on the type properties not only it will affect this 10 and 9 door but also the other doors that have this type of uh, parameter that have this type of zero, uh, 915 by 20 uh, 32 okay right so basically that's how it works so that's how you create your uh, door schedule and then your door hardware schedule okay so hopefully you learn something from this video if you have any comments questions and suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so don't forget to add the details on your door after you create your door hardware schedule just select the door and then go to the properties here and then just put the uh, corresponding property for that particular door okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day